Hey YouTubers, this is Ashley Hutt here with my review of the Iron Man 2 movie series, What the Soul Drone. As you can see, here he is in his packaging. And uh, very nice packaging, by the way. And it's kinda dull, but it works here. Not like with the Thor packaging, that just looked, you know, depressing. And um uh, I gotta say, I I've been looking forward to getting this figure for a long time. Long time, of course, meaning two years, because we're here now, this year, with the um, the release of the Avengers movie. So, I did have to wait a long time to get this guy. But, I think he was worth the wait. We'll just have to wait and see. But, <clears throat> in the packaging, we have the Iron Man, left-hand side, ever so present. And, down the bottom, we have the name of the figure. And, here at the side detachable saw blades. I'll, I'll get to that in a minute because there's more to that than we think. On the back we have a read-up that says, developed by Hammer Industries to stand up to anything the enemy can throw at it. The weapons assault drone is a walking fortress. Nothing short of a full-scale airstrike can, sh can slow it down. Luckily, Iron Man has more than enough power to tear through its invincible armor and stop it cold. And, if you ask me, they wouldn't have been able to take them down without Rhodey. Because Rhodey did a portal lot. I know Iron Man was the guy with the little laser thing, destroyed it all, but still. He could have pulled that out sooner, you know, but I don't know why he didn't. Anyway, uh, we also have three of the figures in the wave, which are Iron Man Fusion Armor, Aerosol Drone, and Iron Man Ultimate Armor from the Concept Series. Then... Um, we have the action feature, which is posable shield panels. Now, of course, when you think of action features, you probably think of, you know, the action figures that you squeeze their legs and their arms come down. You all know who I'm talking about. Or, you know, stuff like that. But this is actually pretty cool. And um, you see these, uh, these shield panels here, which may or may not work well. I'm, I'm not sure. But... Uh, they seem to be on hinges, so I imagine, I imagine, I think the worst that could happen is that they're floppy, but, um, yeah. So, then, and here is where the plot thickens, we come to the detachable saw blades. Now, you may think, well, what's, what's, uh, deep about that? And here's what's deep about that. We do, in fact, get a pair of detachable saw blades, but then we also come with these. Now, these are either not mentioned on the packaging or are supposed to be longer uh, saw blades. However, everyone seems to look at these and say they're whips, yeah, including me. And my explanation is that, um, first a bit of trivia here, did you know this is actually supposed to be the marine straw? Yep, and um, he's not called the Marine's Drone, or referred to the Marine's Drone, um, anywhere on the packaging. So, my theory is, when they made this, they were trying to fuse together the Marine's Drone and the Vanco Drone to give you kind of like a two-in-one. I don't know, it's just, you know, the, here he comes with a variant head as well, so I'm, I'm just guessing, but I may be wrong. Uh, probably am, but, you know, Hasbro did take care, you know, they did care a lot more back when these came out than they do now with their god-awful Avengers figures, so, I'm just, again, I'm just guessing, this may not be the case, but I know a lot of people that use this as a Van Gogh drone, and I think I myself will use this as a Van Gogh drone. So, enough about the packaging, let's get this guy open up. And here is the weapons assault drone. Uh, I gotta say, he's not a disappointment. There are a few flaws, but we'll get to that in a minute. First of all, the sculpt is just amazing. And, and, everywhere, it's just, you know, it, it really goes to show Hasbro did used to care. Um, as for the shield panels, uh, they work, 
a little bit loose, not floppy, just kind of, you know, loose, but they will stay like that or like that, so they are, in fact, posable. Uh, but before I continue praising the figure, I'm going to go straight ahead and tell you the flaws. First of all, we have floppy knee joints. Uh, it's not extreme, but they are quite floppy. So that that's kind of bad for posing options, and I do stop motion, so it's kind of bad, but I guess I could, he is a robot, so I can just have him, you know, standing still and attacking him and that, but, you know, it, there won't be as much effect. Then, we have the fact that these legs don't move out or front. See? They don't. They just don't. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. But if I am, please correct me down below. So that that's probably my only flaw with this figure. And um, so he's pretty neat. Uh, articulated at the head. I, I imagine it's a ball joint, but again, it's limited to swivel. And it kind of has this bobble head thing going on. So, uh, then we have ball jointed shoulder, which is again limited by the sculpt here. And then we have single jointed elbow. This was before Hasbro started doing ball joints on all their figures, I think. And we have the posable shield panels. We have mid torso ball joint. Uh, then we have this leg articulation. It's not articulated, but would be a ball joint if it actually moved. And um, then we have. It's so. We have swivel at the thigh, but it's so stiff that it's almost impossible to get it. Uh, and then we have single jointed knees. And you know, um, swivel and um, swivel, swivel feet. So uh, it's okay articulation, not up to the Iron Man two standards really, but we are talking about a mass, a massive, sorry, uh, a massive robot. So it's okay. Uh, now, in way of accessories, he comes with his detachable saw blades right here and uh, what you do is you take them out like that and uh, here they are pretty decent sculpt uh, again it's it's a small little thing but it's cool uh, then we have the long non posable whips by the way these aren't like Van Gogh's whips they're not posable and uh, you clip them in here using a system here and voila here it is um, I'll probably keep these on because they like they're really awesome I might keep one of each uh, because that's actually how he is on the packaging and um, so it's pretty cool accessories, but then there's my favorite accessory, probably, and that is the head. Uh, now, the very head is sculpted more or less in the same way as this one, but this one has a face shield up. So you just pop off this guy's head. Oh, there it goes. And you stick on this head. Hard to get on, but... There we go. And now you have the shielded head. I think I may actually prefer this head. 
it gives it more of a, I'm not really even in this battle, I'm just, you know, really good at what I do. So, it does give it that kind of look, and I'm just a sucker for variant heads, as I already mentioned. So, he also, of course, comes with the standard Iron Man 2 base, and the armor cards. The armor cards, which consists of two clear cards and one white card. And each one contains part of the body, and, you know, if you collect them all, as it says on the packaging, you can mix and match and whatnot. But that that's, you know, just kind of kid-friendly, I guess. It's kind of like the gimmicky accessories, except for this wasn't so bad. So, my brilliant figure, and great accessories, not so good articulation, and, again, there are the floppy knee joints, which uh, are very easily moved. So, yeah, that's kind of against it, but apart from that, it's just an amazing figure. And so, with great sculpt, great paint jobs, and not so great articulation, but great accessories, I think this is a must-buy. So, until next time, guys, more reviews.